For worrying about this, you need a strong chest to wall handstand push up. One where your center of mass isn't veering closer towards the wall as you go through the concentric. And that's what the aim here is uh, to develop, the understanding of where you need to be in space and time. So then that way you can bleed the lines between what is a balanced handstand push up and what is a chest to wall handstand push up. So all the regular handstand push up rules apply. The forearm needs to stay vertical. Uh, a touch of internal rotation is forgivable, but not encouraged. There should be the hairline to the floor, not the face, not the top of the head. And the hairline should roughly make a triangle between the PC form. And as you push back up, you are starting to flirt with the lines of balance. So it all comes down to where your center of mass sits in relation to your hands. If the center of mass sets, sits behind the hands, the feet will need to be on the wall. No ifs or buts about it. If it sits above, then the feet aren't required. So we're gonna use the feet on the wall. Um, we're gonna intentionally use the feet on the wall for the eccentric, because the eccentric portion is the easiest portion of the movement. And we don't need additional practice there, but it's gonna help find the guidelines of where we need to be. So then when we push back up, we are consistently starting from a similar position. So we use the feet on the wall on the eccentric. Once the head touches, we want to learn how to use the hips to make the feet weightless or even away from the wall. Then once we found that level of equilibrium, we want to push directly towards the ceiling with the hips, not the feet, with the hips. So the hips travel up and the shoulders travel back underneath the hips. And the feet, they should always favor staying a bit closer than further from the wall, because a bit closer, uh, if you fuck up, you can just connect to the wall and then continue. Um, as well as you can always save uh, folding anteriorly here, but no one can save posteriorly. So we always want to favor the wall so we can link the reps together and learn to s and eventually learn to save some uh, ill-performed reps. So when you start doing reps like this, it's going to probably look a little bit more like a float than an actual to balance. But as your proprioceptive abilities increase, you'll be able to keep balance uh, more consistent and it will change from floats in towards a steady handstand.